In this video we're going to check out the different key commands available inside Live's MIDI editor. And if you've checked out any of my other videos, usually I concentrate on techniques. But this one's going to be a little different. We're actually going to concentrate on features available inside Live. So key commands for me are just an indispensable tool for just getting things done quickly. And throughout this video I'll show you most of the key commands available inside Live's MIDI editor. And some of them might not be useful for everyone, but the idea is I'd like to show you all the ones I know, and then you could pick and choose which ones you feel suit your workflow. So let's get started. I'm just going to draw on a note, uh, just double clicking. So now that I have a note drawn in, we could select it by clicking the mouse, and I could use my arrow keys to move the note around. Up, moves the note up down moves it down, left moves it to the left, right moves it to the right. Now you notice that a lot of these different movements snap to Live's grid. So the key commands to change grid resolution, command 1 to narrow the grid, command 2 to widen the grid, command 3 to switch to triplet grid, and command 4 to get rid of the grid altogether. You can turn the grid back on by clicking Command 4 again. Now me, I usually like staying at a 16th grid and then switching back and forth to triplets when I need to. So let's talk about modifiers. First modifier I'll talk about is the Option Key modifier. With the Option Key, we could hold Option and drag to duplicate a note. Let me hit play. All right, so I can hold option again and drag. If I just drag, I can move a note to a different part of the grid. There's also the command modifier. The command modifier allows me to change note velocities. All right, so if I hold command and drag down, I can lower the velocity. If I hold command and drag up, I can increase the velocity. And you can see a little number box up top that tells me the current velocity for the note I have selected. The command modifier also allows me to drag notes slightly off grid. All right, so if I start dragging left or right, and hold the command key, I can move the note off the grid. So this allows me to keep a 16th note grid and still be able to move notes slightly off. So far we've been selecting one note at a time. Let's see how we could select multiple notes. So the first way to do it is click a note, hold down shift, and click the other note with the shift key held down. We can also use the rubber band select by clicking and dragging and releasing when we have all the notes we like in the selection area. Another neat way to select everything is to just click and select the time frame that you'd like. From here we hit the enter or return key and it'll select every note in that time frame. So now that I have some notes selected we could use option drag to duplicate those notes. So another way to select notes is if I hold the command key and click the right arrow I could select the next note in that key track. If I hold the command key and hit the left arrow I could select the previous note in that key track. If I hold the command key with the shift button held down if I hit the right arrow key I could select the next note in that key track plus the original note. 
Also, if I hold the command key and click the up arrow, I could select the next note in time. So right now I'm just holding the command key and clicking the up arrow. Now, while holding the command key and clicking the down arrow, I could select the previous note in time. Also, if I hold the command key and the shift key and click the up arrow, I could select the next note in time and still have the original notes selected. And again, I'm just clicking the up arrow here. So another way to select notes is using the loop selection key command, which is command L. Now up top here, this little yellow bar shows me what I have selected. So if I was to hit the loop selection command right now, I would have a fragment of this last 16th note. So the way I recommend to do this again is to just click and drag time. Now I have the first two beats selected and when I hit Apple L it'll loop. Another way to select notes is to click that note to select all the notes in that key track. I can then use my arrow keys to move those notes around. Now if I hold down the shift key and hit the up arrow, I can move the notes up an octave. If I hold the shift key and hit the down arrow, I can move the notes back down an octave. This one's a bit more useful if you're sequencing chords, pads, melodies, that sort of thing. As I mentioned earlier, if I click the piano note on the side, I could select every note in that key track. If I hold shift, and click another note, I could also add those new notes in that key track to the selection. Also, once I have these selected, I could use my command key, and if I hold my command key, I could shorten the notes, not being restricted by the grid. I can also lengthen the notes without being restricted by the grid by holding the command key and dragging out. Now that I have these notes selected, I could use Command D to duplicate. Notice that the new notes are selected so I can use my arrow keys to move them around. So let me select my kick drums by clicking that key note. I could copy these notes by hitting Command C. Now once to copy and paste, we got to keep in mind this cursor right here. All right, wherever we put the cursor and hit the paste command, which is command V, that's where those new notes will be pasted to. Now up to the loop brace. If I click the loop brace to select it and hit the up arrow, the loop brace will jump the width of the loop. If I hit the down arrow, it'll jump back the width of the loop. If I hit the right arrow, it'll move forward the length of the grid. And if I hit the left arrow, it'll move back the length of the grid. And lastly, I could click and drag on the timeline to select a portion of time and hit Command L to loop that selection. So thanks for checking out this video and stay tuned for part two where we put these key commands to use.